right guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am so happy to be back i'm so excited it's been such a long time i'm going on an adventure imagine that i just want to make a statement right now i'm sure you guys have been wondering where i've been and um i've been dealing with some personal issues in my life recently I'm really sorry for not being able to post. I really miss you guys and I'm sorry that I've been absent. Thank you for understanding um, that I'm going through a lot right now and I am working it all out though and I'm trying to come back. So this is my comeback here, trying to get through things and just start living life normally. I will be informing you guys of what's been going on and everything like that in the future. So. With all that being said, let's get to the regular programming. And Doritos. Thank you. <laughs> adventure like this in so long so I'm so excited I know when I told Elo what we were doing today he got very excited so guys for today's video I'm heading a little bit further south in the Outer Banks and I'm gonna go try to do some surf fishing the surf fishing has been pretty awful um, lately as it's winter time but we've actually had a couple nice days here lately and today is actually in the 60s. So I figured I'd give it a shot today for possibly some puppy drum off the surf or even some blow toad, something like that. I'm gonna be using um, fresh bait, probably shrimp and maybe some cut mullet. It would be awesome if I could land a big citation drum, but I don't know if that's gonna happen, you know, yeah, you never know. So that would be awesome though, fingers crossed. I feel like every time I do fingers crossed, it's like I jinx myself, but I'm not gonna stop doing it because sometimes it works. So fingers crossed, I may catch a big citation drum. Um, but other than that, I would be happy with a few, maybe even sea mullet or some blow totes. So that would be cool if we could catch that. My, I say we because my mom is actually following me down here. We're gonna get a room for the night and just make it a little adventure trip. I really needed a little bit of time away, um, but my mom has been staying with me for, I think it's been over a month now. So um, yeah, we both kind of needed a little breather. Sorry if I'm being a little bit awkward. I don't know, I don't know if like awkward is the right word. Um, but I just feel like I need, I'm trying to get back in the swing of how to video and not ramble and I don't know guys, just cut me a little slack. I will, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but hopefully you guys understand what's going on and you're excited for this video because I'm so excited to be back and I hope something awesome happens, so stay tuned. This shirt right here, I don't know if you can see because of the sun, the sun is glaring right on it. This is kind of not the most safe thing. I'll show you guys this shirt later in the video, the front and the back. The front says, fish like a girl, and the back has my Little Red Lures logo on it. Um, but I made this shirt, it's so soft. It is the softest material. This is for my ladies out there. I have all different colors in this. This is the slouchy. Um, it's the slouchy t-shirt. I absolutely love it. I will show you guys more what it looks like when I get to my destination. I will leave the link in the description below. Oh my gosh, look at the sandbags. That one's basically in the water. That I think that's the one we stayed in last time. Oh my god. Yeah. That's scary. It looks like somebody did this. It looks yeah. like it's more sunny, so that's one of the others. 
we did This way. This way, bud. <laughs> Go up the steps. <laughs> Yeah, we made it. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Look at all the sandbags. It's crazy. This is the shirt that I was trying to show you guys in the car. It's like a slouchy, super soft um, girl's shirt. And I like to wear it like kind of like off the shoulder, like a bikini top or a bralette underneath. And then I tie it up like this. And on the back, on the back, if you guys can see, it says Little Red Lures. Cute merch for my lady anglers out there. Let's check out these bedroom situations. Oh, cute. This can be my bed, Elo. And that can be yours. No, that's yours. And this up. Freezing. System heat. Let's turn it up to like. We're gonna get some fishing rods rigged up here soon. Go grab a bite to eat because I'm starving and unload the car a little bit, get settled in. I'm so happy, look at this view. What do you think, Frank? Bear is here too. Unpacking the cooler. Got very minimal stuff, but cheese, <laughs> butter, butter, bottle of wine. Oh yeah, a little greasy Little red, little red lures. Uh oh, Frankie's making an escape. Dang. Well, you gotta go back inside. No, sir. No, sir. Ah. And the water looks gorgeous out it there. It does. It's like the Caribbean. So it looks like these sandbags are just like right here. on this smaller rod and then this is my big drum rod. I'm not very hopeful. Well, I am hopeful, but I don't know. Hoping for the best, but expecting no drum on this rod, but that's what I'll be fishing for here. And I am putting bottom rig on my rod that's out on the deck and I'm baiting it up with some of this fish bite blood worms. They didn't have real blood worms, so I've got to use these artificial ones, which work pretty good. And then I'm going to put a little piece of shrimp on my other hook. Yes. And voila, I'm going to catch some blood toads. I've got this little Sea Striker circle hook rig right here. I think it's got size, size one circle hook. This would be good for puppy drum or blow toads. I like that it doesn't have a lot of metal on it. You can tie these yourself, actually, um, and do the dropper loop method, but... I just went ahead and bought some pre-made rigs. It's probably getting close to 3, 3.30 I think, so don't have too much daylight left, but what are you doing? Right. Right now, 
if you get worn out. Hmm. Should be good. So that was super easy. And then I'm not going to be messing with any fish bite blood worms unless she catches a fish on hers. Then I will we'll put one on mine. But I'm going to stick to shrimp. So let's see what I got. Yep, here's a five right here. That should be good. All right, I need to get these rods outside on the deck before these animals chomp down on said hook. All right, Got some shrimp here. I'm gonna use pretty small, tiny little pieces. that big of a piece just something like that size right there uh, all right shrimp is on put this back in there I mean um albacore belly is super frozen so hoping I can get a good chunk off of here like that. Put this on the big one. All right guys, that's about it. Um, so I think we're about ready to head down to the beach and wet a line finally. Um, I'll tune in with you guys down there. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll catch you guys at the beach. Well, we were about to go fishing and now we got ourselves locked out. <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> and Frankie is inside there, sleeping. No, you can't. I tried that too. All right guys, I came down here to wet my line because our door situation is still locked. Um, my mom is up there trying to handle that, but I just could not stand to watch my bait dry out anymore. So I'm gonna cast my rods out.
Apache. Maybe you'll get the drum. I think she's taking a wine break. So far, only caught that one bluefish and definitely was not expecting to catch a bluefish at all. Tiki Bar, at your service. Mommy caught a bluefish. You could be out here fishing with me if you didn't run off. You little crazy boy.
guys. There you have it. This thing is strong. I'm gonna get him back in the water. so I was really afraid that he was gonna try to run up and lick it or something and get bitten so I was kind of freaking out I'm a little shaky um, I also lost a nail <laughs> but yeah that was fun that thing was super strong fun to catch and yeah that was awesome had such a great day oh my gosh it feels so amazing to get back out here Woo. Smoky in here though, but honey, you're the best. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ew, what are you doing, Frankie? <laughs> what the heck? We're up here trying to have she's, dinner. She's been in my suitcase. Let me go see what else he's done in my room. Ew, <laughs> Frankie, knock it off. No, it's Frankie. <laughs> I told him he can sleep on. Oh my God! hair all over it. Oh no! I don't think all you have to worry about is hair on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Frankie! What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Good morning guys, it is almost 7 a.m. and I slept in a little bit but I'm about to head out to the beach and wet a line. I'm pretty sure I decided I'm just gonna stay here and fish right outside of here. Um, the water looks totally different today, let me show you guys. Good morning! Good morning. Yeah, the water looks um, definitely more churned up. The wind is still blowing from the south and it's really not cold out um, at all. So I think it did rain a little bit last night, but I think the water looks more drummy. I can still catch the morning bite. I think it's high tide. Um, not sure for how much longer, but yeah. That's the plan, and again, fingers crossed that I could maybe hook up to a drum or anything really it would be exciting. So I'm gonna try to wake up. I don't have any coffee, which sucks, but I'm gonna try to wake up and I will tune in with you guys when I'm getting rigged up. <laughs>
pieces of this left. So I'm gonna hook this on, cast her out. I'm up here on the deck because the tide is still pretty high right now. So I also like this um, elevation for my cast. So, all right, let's see what happens. weight on there if I remember what I put on there. Definitely got tuna fingers right now. Got my jacket on. I'm hoping my mom's on her way out here. Use some bottom rigs for some with some shrimp. But now it's just a waiting game. Had some Oreos for breakfast. Really wish I had some coffee. Kinda of hoping the sunshine would come out, that'd be great. But either way, it's beautiful. Struggling to get up the tuna. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to bird nest. So I may not be very happy after this and I, I don't think it's a good idea, but I want to get it out farther because I'm not having any luck where I'm casting it right now. So I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. Turn this clicker off. But I'm gonna give it my best shot, guys. All right. too is I can't really sit it down on the deck like I, I like to sit my bait and my weight down on the deck usually the sand before I cast it because it gives me more control and it's not so much weight so here goes nothing right over here it's not even supposed to be raining right now but over there you can see the rain you might try um, to go south where there's a little bit warmer water not too far but maybe 20 30 minutes down the road and see if we could get a bite there and some coffee yeah we're gonna go get some coffee <laughs> you like a cheese cracker yeah sure because it fills mm. you up more guys <laughs> look at this breakfast Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Here we Listen. go. He's grabbing things. He's a little gremlin. Should I get some of these donuts? If you want them. I've already eaten Oreos. She got a very healthy something. I got apple juice coffee and a burrito with ham egg and cheese and she didn't get anything to eat oh, I ate my cheese crackers and a packet of Texas Pete here comes the sun da, da. oops you really can't beat gasification coffee or breakfast food It really isn't bad. <laughs> it really is not bad. It's good, huh? You want to know what it's better than? Better than McDonald's? Sand, please. <laughs> no, thank you. Take a bite mm -mm. for the viewers. No. Come on. No. Why? I don't eat that stuff. It's literally egg, cheese, and ham. Good. I like my cheese crackers. Go right ahead, Miss Hattie. Rude. Insulting the chef. He's gonna squirt all over me. We gotta be careful about touching stuff in those places too the, with this coronavirus. What about Ooh, my dirty licking. bait fingers? You washed them at the house. Mmm. All right, to the bait shop. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back. Weather completely did a 360. It is sunshine and absolutely gorgeous outside now. The water's clearing up. I'll catch you guys out there. I love you. Mm -hmm.
from the distance. Didn't end up catching anything today, obviously, but got to fish for a couple hours on and off between the showers and had a great time. But yesterday was so much fun. It was just so nice to get away for a little bit and just get back to fishing and get back to get back in the groove and just feel happy and relaxed and like myself again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys thought, what you want to see next, and um, make sure to subscribe, all of that good stuff. You guys know the drill. Till next time.